Welcome. This is interview with FIDE president, Mr. Arkady Dvorkovic. Thank you for accepting our invitation for interview. Thank you. Uh, last days, Monaco became the capital of chess and also the host of three major events. Share us the thoughts about this. Well, I think Monaco is one of the most beautiful places in the world uh, and uh, Uh, women deserve uh, playing uh, in the best places. Um, uh, it's good that both the uh, European Chess Union and FIDE uh, have decided to uh, put uh, major events uh, in Monaco at about the same time, starting with the uh, European Repton Blitz for women, uh, also European uh, Gala, uh, the award ceremony, uh, and FIDE with the Women's Grand Prix. Uh, and uh, we were lucky to get the patronage from uh, Prince Albert, from the royal family, Uh, and uh, also um, uh, support from uh, our sponsors. Uh, so all things came together uh, and uh, Monaco became one of the capitals of chess this time. Speaking about Women's Grand Prix, here we have the second leg. Uh, FIDE renewed the policy to empower women in chess and also to reach the gender equality. What changes have made already and what else is planned? Yes, so our overall approach is to give uh, equal access um, uh, to chess uh, to everyone. Uh, and uh, of course we knew that uh, in the past uh, uh, women faced difficulties uh, with uh, uh, having uh, good tournaments, uh, having uh, uh, normal uh, prize funds, um, uh, having access to good coaches, uh, Uh, to training, um, uh, since uh, there are all kinds of responsibilities women bear, um, uh, not the same like uh, like men uh, who mm -hmm. can spend more time on, uh, on chess uh, in their no normal life. So what we did uh, is uh, we started with um, increasing uh, price funds to give a signal that it is important uh, for us. Uh, also, we followed the recommendations of the uh, FIDE Women's Commission, Women's Chess Commission, um, to. Um, have the minimum number of um, officials at each tournament, uh, uh, the women officials, uh, uh, at least 25% uh, among arbiters, uh, uh, among appeal committee members, uh, Uh, and also in the FIDE management. Uh, so we have more women in the uh, FIDE presidential board, uh, in the management board, in the commissions, uh, <clears throat> and uh, it works very well. Uh, we started to uh, have a more balanced situation. Um, uh, uh, it's still a long road to, to the equality, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it's our um, uh, real desire, a real goal. We really believe that women can make a huge contribution to the chess world uh, and uh, become uh, role models uh, for uh, the young generation. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, that here in Monaco, just three days ago, was Golden Pawn Award. How do you find this idea? To have the, idea is great. the idea is great. We should uh, congratulate the best uh, Uh, people in the chess world um, uh, who contributed to chess a lot throughout their life or during uh, one year. Uh, we should uh, make sure that people know about those uh, best uh, people, those celebrities. Uh, and um, this should uh, uh, bring attention from companies, from corporate sponsors, uh, from local governments. Uh, and that's exactly what our partners in the European Chess Union did. Uh, they started this pilot project, the first one, uh, and uh, I think it was a good uh, experience. Um, they had Uh, uh, very good audience uh, and uh, very nice uh, uh, awards and of course uh, some of the best European uh, people uh, who uh, spend their life uh, for chess. Uh, so I'm sure in FIDE we will follow the suit, we will have uh, our global uh, uh, awards uh, as well and uh, hopefully other continents can do the same. Yes. Uh, speaking about uh, corporate uh, sponsorships, um, we saw Coca-Cola and other uh, big brands already involved uh, uh, to sponsor uh, chess events. Uh, what is uh, the relations right now with FIDE and what will be in the future? Will be there other big companies? Yes, what we started doing a few months ago and we had some first success stories is approaching uh, Uh, the global companies um, uh, and uh, uh, those companies uh, who uh, have um, the global reach uh, uh, and are well known uh, to people, to consumers, uh, especially in the consum consumer product um, uh, business. Uh, Coca-Cola was the first uh, example supporting um, two projects this year in Latvia and Poland. Uh, Uh, those projects were su success successful and we are confident that Coca-Cola will uh, uh, do more uh, next year. But Coca-Cola was not, not the only one and uh, now for the Women Grand Prix uh, 
uh, we um, uh, have the agreement with uh, Total, the French oil company, um, to get the support from uh, them for the total price fund, um, uh, and it's a second uh, example. And uh, I'm, um, I'm sure I'm um, like 100 percent uh, confident that um, <clears throat> in the next three months we'll have um, uh, at least uh, four or five uh, more uh, global companies supporting chess tournaments. Uh, wow. <laughs> so chess is becoming more and more visible, and the reason for that is that we became more transparent. Uh, we um, approach our sponsors with uh, very specific ideas how they can uh, actually benefit um, uh, uh, from uh, associating uh, with chess, with this great royal intellectual uh, game, uh, what they will get in return uh, uh, for supporting uh, chess. It is uh, very visible that uh, some of the decisions are made with involve of chess players. How important is this for yourself well, and also for FIDE? We have uh, both more chess players, grandmasters uh, in our management team. Uh, in the presidential board, uh, probably it's the strongest uh, presidential board if you uh, look at the average rating of uh, uh, people uh, who uh, work for the board, also in the management team and uh, in the commissions. Uh, and um, uh, I think uh, it's much better balance uh, since we need both professional managers and people who uh, live in chess, who understand mm -hmm. chess from inside. Uh, so only when you put those two things together, professional management qualities uh, and understanding of chess, you can achieve uh, the uh, best results. Also, after each tournament, after each uh, um, event, uh, we asking players uh, uh, about what they think about the organization, mm -hmm. um, both positive and negative moments. We take this feedback from them to improve uh, the quality of organization next time. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we have any ideas regarding uh, new formats, um, new regulations, uh, we always ask uh, chess players uh, as well. It's not perfect yet. Uh, I would not say we uh, have the uh, full harmony uh, with um, all chess pl players around the world. Some people will, uh, saying that we pay too much attention to the um, uh, top tournaments, we should pay more attention to uh, mass uh, chess, and I agree with that. Uh, uh, we should uh, uh, start uh, paying more attention to the tournaments where we have uh, uh, medium level players, amateur players, uh, to increase um, visibility of uh, uh, of chess activity all over the world, not, not just role models, we have not just the world champion. Though, again, uh, role models are critically important, otherwise you will not uh, have the target, you will not have the yes. goal in your life. Yeah. <laughs> Let's speak a little bit about uh, the fact that World Senior Championship uh, got special support, as well as youth uh, projects. Um, can you share us? Well, we, truly be, we truly believe that uh, we should give um, uh, opportunities for people to have the long um, uh, chess career uh, and um, uh, to have uh, uh, life um, uh, where they can um, uh, play chess longer and earn from chess uh, uh, since the chess professionals uh, and um, most of the chess players do not have, uh, most of the professional chess players not have uh, any other way to, um, to be successful to earn money. That's why we uh, thought it, it would be a very good idea to increase price funds and to support uh, senior players and that's exactly what we did. So this time the World Senior Championship had a bigger price fund and uh, uh, more players from um, more countries participated uh, uh, in the championship. Uh, also, we reduced fees, uh, actually um, got rid of uh, feed the fees for uh, senior uh, players, and we will make sure that costs of uh, playing chess will be lower for mm -hmm. seniors uh, in the future. Again, it's about uh, career path uh, for uh, the players. Of course, we should give more job opportunities also to senior players and coaching uh, in uh, um, uh, working with arbiters uh, or in other positions, uh, uh, training young people um, uh, to improve their uh, lives. For youth uh, players, we also uh, have a decision to reduce uh, feed fees, uh, to reduce costs of playing in the uh, tournaments, uh, and um, hopefully we'll have um, uh, a more balanced system of youth tournaments uh, um, in Europe it's more or less okay, in Europe there are many tournaments and uh, people have uh, many opportunities to play, but it's not the same in Africa, in America or in Southeast Asia, uh, not so many tournaments where people can participate, so we, we should improve that. How important is uh, uh, to have uh, 
social um, activities for chess. I, I think it's critically important. Uh, uh, I uh, uh, was clear about that um, during the election campaign and after that, that um, for instance, educational chess, uh, using chess as a tool uh, to improve the, uh, uh, education, especially in the primary schools, uh, is the most important project for FIDA by far. And that's what we started doing in many countries, uh, supporting uh, development projects uh, in all parts of the world, especially uh, bringing chess um, to the schools. Um, and uh, I'm sure that this will both um, increase the overall uh, chess audience and uh, number of people playing chess, but also it will contribute to a better world, uh, since people will be uh, uh, more educated, having more intellectual capacity and uh, bringing uh, prosperity to other countries. Uh, but it's not the only one. We also um, did projects uh, uh, for um, uh, rural areas uh, to bring chess to uh, distant places where there's nothing else uh, to migrants, um, to prisons, um, and many other things. So <laughs> it's um, really important to think about chess as um, activity slows down some diseases like Alzheimer. Yes. <clears throat> chess helps autist people, so we should do more in this um, respect as well. First year in the office. Uh, the projects, success and development FIDE has made uh, and what will be in the future? Let's talk about this. Well, I think we started um, well with a number of projects. Uh, if you take the top level, uh, we improved the World Championship cycle a lot, both for um, uh, Open, the men tournament and the women. We have a mix of tournaments, including um, round robin, uh, knockout tournaments, a new format in the Grand Prix and Grand Suisse, a new tournament. As well, <clears throat> for women, we have this uh, renewed uh, Grand Prix cycle as well and higher prizes. Uh, so on the top level, we are doing, um, I think, really good. Uh, on the development part, uh, we have the highest, uh, historically, the highest um, uh, development fund in FIDE. Uh, we supported federations uh, all across the globe um, uh, with uh, funding, co-funding uh, uh, to uh, bring chess to schools, uh, to uh, Mm, train uh, new arbiters, to train uh, new coaches, uh, uh, to uh, have more tournaments in the distant areas, including in Africa and Latin America. Uh, so I think uh, we started with a uh, very good uh, uh, tempo with, uh, and um, uh, the whole world uh, can, can see it. And also we started some projects uh, uh, related to <coughs> online chess, uh, the Fisher Random Championship was the first pilot project uh, in this regard. Uh, now we are learning from this experience. Uh, there were some mistakes, some success uh, stories, but I think uh, uh, online uh, chess, uh, not just playing, but also uh, training, uh, providing services to chess players, to organizers, is the future uh, of chess as well. Not just over the board um, uh, game, but um, internet uh, is going to be used uh, much more widely as well. So those are the plans, uh, and we will announce uh, some of the new initiatives uh, in the nearest future. Um, next year, we'll have two general assemblies, one extraordinary general assembly in February to adopt new charter of FIDE, to improve the management structure of our organization, uh, to set uh, clear uh, roles, functions, responsibilities for each particular uh, institution. We announced some new global projects, um, uh, including uh, to involve uh, uh, companies into chess, um, uh, universities, uh, to involve schools more. Uh, and in uh, Hantemansisk, later in the year, in August, uh, we'll have um, a normal General Assembly where we'll discuss um, uh, new approaches um, to the development uh, of chess uh, all around the world. Uh, and we'll have uh, many uh, fascinating tournaments uh, throughout the year, including, um, uh, of course, the Candidates Tournament, Chess Olympiad, and the World Championship match as well next year. Uh, but we will start uh, the season uh, already very soon in Moscow with the World Trapped and Blitz Championship, uh, and uh, then the uh, Women World Championship match uh, in two cities, Shanghai and Vladivostok, uh, and we'll see the great um, match between uh, the current champion, uh, Yun Jun, and uh, Alexander Garyachkina to um, contest uh, the uh, world crown. Thank you very much. Thank you.